Hey everybody, it's Radley here with the Energetic Weather Report for January 24th through the 30th, done with Angel Wisdom Tarot cards. So before we get started, let's talk about those four Archangels cards that you might feel compelled towards as choosing an Archangel to work with this week. Do you feel compelled for card number one? Do you feel drawn to card number two? Is card number three calling your name? Or is card number four the one for you this week? So let's get to the energetic weather report. So it's an interesting story this week. Um, there's a, a little bit of, it's, it's almost, well, let's just get started. <laughs> okay. So what's really interesting is so Sunday is two of water. Okay, so this is this is very often a relationship card, but it can also be forgiveness. It could be um, um, uh, a really really close friend. It could be receiving gifts, but it I think it's really about relationships because Monday's card is a lover's card, and these two cards are very tied to one another, and so to have them show up at the same place tells me that relationships, whether they are just very intimate friendships or whether they are romantic relationships, are very much on your mind Sunday and Monday. Now, these cards also have with them the energy of being in touch with the heart center, being in touch with what your heart is leading you to do, less so your mind, more your heart. Now, that shifts on Tuesday with the page of Earth, which is very much an intellect card. This is very much a card about learning about doing research, finding out everything you can about a particular topic. Um, and I think that you learn something. I think you get some sort of like epiphany on Tuesday that really knocks down your barriers on Wednesday. Because this is Wednesday, this is Eight of Air, this is a card about the illusions of being trapped. And you can see this beautiful young lass has freed her bonds, is taking off her blindfold, is swinging open the gate and is off on her new adventure. So um, this is this card in typical tarot is, is more presenting the illusion of the entrapment. I prefer to show it as the end of the illusionment of entrapment. It's just more uh, empowering that way. Now, Thursday, you jump right into action. Da -da -da -da. This is a night of air, fastest moving card in all of tarot, and it, it's 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 also a little, this particular night is also a little impulsive, okay? So consider this a heads up for Friday because as you go off into action, I think on Friday you regret maybe an action or two, maybe, I don't know. But like I said, this is a heads up, okay? This is the cards telling you, be cautious Thursday, Friday about the choices you make. Make sure that you feel good about them and make sure that they're the right thing. So in that need, that sense, that feeling of impulsiveness of, oh, I'm going to just jump in right in and do this, maybe think it through a little bit more. Now, Saturday, you fix it, okay? So Saturday, whatever might have possibly happened, you stop, you sit down, <laughs> and you rethink, and you go, okay, well, maybe I should have had a better plan. I'm going to really make a plan. Maybe I'm going to ask a trusted advisor. Maybe I'm going to ask someone that I love, uh, you know, circling back to all that love energy at the beginning of the week. But, you know, it's like this is not a catastrophe uh, because it's easy, it's, you're fixing it the very next day, but it could be some uncomfortableness that you could avoid if you just think it through. Okay, so if you were drawn to card number one, you got Archangel Azrael. So let it go, let it go. Don't let it bother you anymore. I'm making up words now. <laughs> But Azrael helps us to release things, helps us to let go. He's also the great archangel for comforting people who are in sorrow or sadness. Or so if you have some sadness in your heart or some sorrow and you're kind of wanting to blow past that, or there's just stuff you just want to get rid of, Azrael. 
Now, we saw a sneak peek of the next one on this card. That's, that is Archangel Sandalphon, and here he is again in Wise Counselor. So this is the Archangel of Prayers. So if you're praying about your week, if you're praying about your plans, if you're praying about where you want to go, Sandalphon is known for taking your prayers from earth to heaven. And so... And Sandalphon can assist you with getting those prayers. Next is Ego, okay, with Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael, again, sort of a different version of letting go, but helping you to sever your energetic connections to things that you don't like, you don't want, you don't want them in your life anymore. Please make it all go, go, go away, all right? And finally, my personal favorite, Archangel Uriel, the sun, all right, the sun. And so here we have Archangel Uriel, and he is the Archangel of Emotional Healing, the Archangel of Brilliant Epiphanies, and most importantly, I think, the Archangel of Life Transformation. So if you're trying to make transformational changes in your life, Uri is your guide. So there you have it. That's the energetic weather report for January 24th through the 30th. By the way, guess what? So a lot of you took, a lot of you took a course that I taught with Dougal Frazier last year called uh, Angels and Auras. Well, guess what? Angels and Auras 2 is coming. So if you would like to sign up for that, there is a link in this uh, video where you can go or you can just go to RadleyValentine.com, click on school, and then there you'll find it. But Angels and Auras 2, we're back. It's the Dougal and Radley Show. So come join us. It's going to be a hoot and a half. All right, that's it. You guys have a magical week.